Hello everyone and welcome again in this second tutorial of Linux commands. Uh, on a previous video we talked about Linux commands, actually the main Linux command that you're gonna use in every day and we are continuing what we started uh, about the basic uh, Linux commands. We took uh, some commands like uh, showing files, uh, going from a directory to another, uh, just you know the basic now we are continuing uh, what we started and uh, this uh, video we are talking about uh, some of the new parameters that you might not don't know about the ls command which is used as we know about listing the files like that actually uh, there is new parameter that you should know which is ls dash capital r so what is that? This one is listing files recursively and deep down to the deepest directory on the current directory that we are in. So the capital R for uh, traversing and uh, re recursively showing the files inside uh, the current directory and all the inside directories. and. Actually, there is ls dash small r, and you know, you know, this is ls ls dash l. What about dash l r? To see the difference, we take a look here. Here, it's reversing the sequence of the files, the order of the files. Here, started from b to v. Here, the opposite. So dash R small r for reverse order of the listing of the files. Okay, another one is ls dash uh, capital S, and we should see it on the list of capital S. Here, it's ordering by the file by the file date. Here, this file uh, sorry, this is by the size. The S stands for the size. The biggest size to the smallest size so capital S for sorting by size another one actually about LS also is LS dash T which is the time this now the time if we take a look at the files without T this is it and about the T as you can see here those are the recent files and those are the oldest. Not like here, it is not uh, taking into consideration the uh, time about of the file. So ls dash t for time. Now, this is about the time. Another thing that you should know here, the wild characters of showing the files. Now, what is wild characters? This uh, becomes, you know, uh, another topic which is regular expressions and we're going to discuss this on a different video. Uh, but for simplicity, as we see here, D and followed by this asterisk, all of the directors and the files started with D and anything. Asterisk stands for zero or many characters. So we can say like uh, D O and asterisk. Ah, now it narrows the search and only start anything starts with D O. So now you know that this asterisk for any character. There is another one actually is the question mark. This actually. Uh, but here it says no such a file or directory because there is nothing. This uh, question mark stands for one character only. And actually we don't have here anything contains two characters, D and something. There is nothing like that. So we use asterisk because of the many files and directories starts with D like those uh, above here. So these are the wild characters. Now another command that you uh, you want to use and you you you, you will use it a lot, which is touch command, touch command for creating files. So uh, actually I'm gonna delete any file here, 
uh, actually we take this rm before so uh, my file and my file 2 and my file 3 now we don't have those files here touch my file and take a look yes we have my file it's an empty size 0 file okay now we have created a new file using the touch command but what about if we touch an existing file actually so uh, touch that new file so let's clean the screen here see this here ls-l then we say touch that new file nothing had happened actually something happened but you may not see it here this new file when you use touch against an existing file the date of the modification of the file will be changed see the date here actually it's changed to today's date so touch when you use it against an existing file it will change the date this is the touch what about if you want to change it to a specific date so uh, it should have uh, this uh, time format actually you say touch dash t for time and maybe we want it like uh, 2020 December 1 and the time is uh, so what is that here this is the year 2020 and the month 12 and the day is 1 and the minutes and the seconds which one with what file we want to do the touch this one actually take a look here at the file of my file that we have changed yes the date of the file has been changed the modification date of the file has been changed to the date we have assigned here using touch command so this is the benefit of the touch command okay take a look on, on another uh, command which is uh, linking the files and making you know if you're coming from windows background it's called uh, windows shortcuts so what is linking files using uh, cb command dash l for link and this my file i want to create a link it's called uh, my file 2 now if we take a look actually here my file and my file 2 it's called here when you use cb with the parameter dash l a hard link there is two types in linux of links the hard link and the soft link the hard link they are sharing the same i node in the disk how to know that they are sharing the same uh, i node i l the i for showing the i nodes of the files see here the my file and my file too they are on the same i node now you should know something that you cannot create a hard link on a different mount points on a different mount points of disks they have to be on the same mount point so this is the point that you should know this is about the hard link of the files what about that soft link cb and this time we are not going to using dash l we are going to use the dash s like that so uh The uh, soft link looks like this uh, shortcut. Without the source file, you're not going to do anything with this soft link. As you can see here, my file 3 that we've created pointing to this my file. This is a shortcut or a soft link. So uh, this is the soft link. And you're gonna use uh, this soft link also. Maybe you wanna do. Uh, you'll see it on the slash etc for the configs that is uh, around on the disk, and they have the shortcuts on slash etc or something. 
Okay, this was uh, making hard and soft links using CB command. Now there is some com another command for creating links, which is ln, ln for my file and make it my file for this for hard link ln link and as you can see here it's make my file for and also uh, we can use uh, you know ln dash s for my file to my file 5 maybe whatever as you can see the same the ln dash s so this is for creating a links also another command that you will use is for determining the file type of any file which called command is file we take a look here file for book.bdf we have that file here he said the type of that file is bdf document this command does not uh, rely on the extension .bdf no it says the inside content of the file we take a look here but my file yes he said it's empty file so this is the file command to determine the kind of file that is out there you know uh we talk about the cat command about viewing files uh today we are going to uh show another command which is tail and tail is a very beautiful and elegant command that you're going to use a lot tail for showing the last 10 lines by default of a file so uh, tail for uh, maybe for something like logs or something and uh, we hit double tap to see the files uh, maybe we want to see uh, like the boot dot log here those are the last 10 lines of this boot dot log okay there is no big deal in this, but the beauty about that, it has the dash f command for following the file changes if there is a changes on the file. As you can see here, it does not return the command prompt like this one. Any changes to this file, while I'm seeing it, it will be appended to the screen so I can see any changes to that file using the dash f command so tail dash f is very good and important and you're going to use it a lot if you're uh, administering a server or uh, anything like that so tail dash f is a good command that you're going to use a lot and it only shows 10 lines maybe you want more so you can do that by tail dash n for uh, specifying the number of lines l to take actually it's dash n and you specify maybe for like two lines as an example here and dash f for following and our file here maybe that log file only two lines appear you specify the lines by dash n and followed by space and the number of lines you want another command is the head it's actually the opposite of tail. This shows the first 10 lines of a file on the top of the file. So uh, they are the same like that. Here the first head 10 and you can also specify the number of lines according to uh, here. Uh, we, we use uh, tail dash n equals 20 dash f or var log boot dot log oh sorry we do not use uh, this here this for tail uh, we are using uh, head if you forget any parameter you can use man command man command for seeing the manual of that uh, command man and for tail here you can see the dash n for the lines all those things so it's like that now we see the head and the tail another command that you will use is bs for process 
If you type BS only, it will show you only the current running process attached to this uh, shell. But if you want to see the whole process and its executables that's running that process, you have to type BS AUX as a parameter. As you can see, the, all the processes running and what command actually, the path of the command that's running it with its parameters, everything is running with BS AUX. Actually, these are the BS. Maybe uh, some process you want to kill. To kill process using kill command and you type the process ID. From where did you get this process ID? Actually, it is here. Those numbers are the process IDs. So we choose one, but be careful, of course. Maybe you will kill some very important process and kill it with the number like that. And maybe you want to kill it by the process name. So instead of kill, called B kill and the process name. Actually, also uh, process name is here. As you can see, these are the process names here. Uh, another useful command for killing a process, actually, it's xkill. For any hanging uh, window on your system, if you're using a GUI here, like this one, maybe this one is hanging and you're opening this, you can use xkill. When you press enter, you see that the mouse becomes this cross. Just hit any window that is hanging with this one and it's a be disappeared forever. This is for xkill command that kills any non-responsive window. The last one I'm going to show you is the DF. Actually, DF for showing the uh, mounted uh, file uh, directories, the mounted points on your system. So this is the root here. It's mounting from the dev slash sda1. And actually, it uh, shows you this as a block of size. If you want to see it as a human readable uh, values, df-h for human readable. So you see the size in gigabytes and in megabytes. This for showing the mounted points and where it is mounted on. For your file system, which one of the file system and where it is mounted on. We took on the last video the du command for showing the disk usage. This is a different one. This is for showing the mounted file systems and where it is mounted. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, second uh, tutorial about Linux commands. And I'm going to uh, prepare another video and another uh, article about uh, another Linux commands. So stay tuned and goodbye.